Hello Year 5, this is your lesson on um, why we are studying the Mayans in history at TC Stage 2. Your first task is to get the timeline pictures from the blog and you're going to see if you can plot them in a historical timeline of events you've already learned about in school. So this might go all the way back to what you might have learned in Year 1, all the way up to Year 4. If you put them in order and have a guess at what um, time period they were, you can add the dates on at the end. So pause now to have a go at doing that. Okay, here is what it should look like. So we have the Stone Age, then we have the Ancient Egyptians, the Mayans, the Iron Age, the Romans, the Anglo-Saxons, Tudors, the Great Fire of London, the Victorians, and finally, World War II. Okay, having a look now, so there is a document called the Gallery Pictures, and you're going to use those pictures to see if you can infer anything about Mayan life from those images. So pause now, have a look at the pictures from the blog and see if you can make any inferences. Okay, so um, the Mayans, they knew about the stars and they even created their own calendar and we kind of use that today, actually. Our calendar that we have um, was made from the Mayan um, calendar and they used to use the stars and the planets as a way of finding out the months and the years and days, etc. And they built great cities and they have um, loads of buildings in there. Um, they discovered how to use chocolate. So they, they were the creators of chocolate. We've got those to uh, thank for um, cameras, etc. Um, they had a system of numbers that enabled them to count. So hopefully you found the numbers. They're like a set of dots and dashes. Um, so you can, um, use, it's a bit like algebra, use those to create different numbers. And then um, they were great craftsmen and sculptors. So they were able to carve out of stone different um, like gods and different leaders. They played ball games. We know that they played a, um, a rough game of football um, where they had to shoot things through tiny little holes at like the ball through a hole. Um, and then the, the winner would actually die as like a sacrifice to the gods. I'm going to learn about the sacrifices later on in our history lessons. And they worshipped different gods. Okay, so now you're going to have a go at looking at your spectrum cards. So you either want to maybe cut them out or number them, and then you're going to place them on the spectrum template as to whether it's important or not important. So if you're at home and you don't have a printer, I would label these one, two, or however many there are, and then put the numbers onto the grid. So hopefully you have to say why it's important or why not, and you must be able to give a reason for this. Sorry, I should say pause now and then have a go at doing that. So finally, now you've had a look at the mines and whether um, which one's more important as to why they were successful, you're going to write a letter to Mrs. Maylon Mason explaining why it's important to study the mines. So you're going to start it with, Dear Mrs. Maylon Mason, we have been learning about why the Maya were important. Here are some reasons as to why we believe we should continue to study the mines in history at BRW. Um, and then you're going to use those cards and what you've learned to write about four paragraphs convincing Mrs. Maylar Mason why we must write a letter to Mrs. Maylar Mason. Um, sorry, why Mrs. Maylar Mason, we should study the Mayans. So on the blog, I've included some sentence starters and um, some like a bit of a success criteria to write your letter. I can't wait to read them, team. If there's any questions, just let me know.